guys, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do an update to a previous video that I did on my favorite hair dryer, which is the Rust 2000 Watt Professional Hair Dryer. And I got this on my birthday back on October 18th, so I've had almost two months to use it. So I wanted to do a video to provide some feedback so far and provide a, a couple more details that I didn't provide in my first video. So without further ado, let's jump right on into the video. If you saw my previous video, you'll know that the biggest pet peeve that I have was the concentrator. Initially, I didn't have too big of an issue with this because I described how I blow dry my hair and there are two stages of me blow drying my hair where I do not use the concentrator, but the main part when I try to get the style of the hair I need the concentrator. So performance wise on the hair dryer, it still performs really well. And I think that it's a well made hair dryer, um, you know, the actual device itself, but the components of it were not engineered well to fit onto the base. So I feel like people that are looking for a hair dryer, especially these days are looking for one that can also have a good concentrator because that's what you need to style your hair. At least for most people and definitely in my opinion. I have had no other issues with it other than the concentrator. So if you're looking for something, uh, just a, a good hair dryer, um, and you do not need or you know have a use for this at all, then I would definitely recommend it. But if you're looking for something that can be a good hair dryer and help you style your hair really well, then I would not recommend it. And for this reason alone, I would not repurchase this if it came to me needing to buy um, another hair dryer unless they come up with some way to have a concentrator that fits onto their base well because I don't understand why they would put so much thought into designing something so good but have this be an afterthought. This is a really important piece to a hair dryer, I feel. So I don't know what they were thinking as far as that is concerned. But um, I also wanted to provide now some audio clips. I did record um, the high and low settings with this hair dryer uh, with a concentrator on and with a concentrator off so you could hear it. And then I also compared it against my previous hair dryer. I keep it as a backup in case there is an issue with this or it stops performing for me. I also wanted to talk a little bit more about the cord. Um, I did put, uh, you know, just hold up the cord in my previous video but it's an eight foot cord and I will uh, do some cutaway shots of this close up so you can see it. I don't have uh, electrical details to really explain this type of cord because I don't know uh, what kind of cord this is, but it looks like it's two cords that are attached to each other. Uh, so there's a thin separation between them. So in this cutaway, you can actually see what I'm talking about. So I don't know what type of design that is. But that's what it looks like, so if that's helpful for you, um, I wanted to be sure to put um, a close-up. All right, guys, so that's actually going to wrap up this video. I hope you found some of this information helpful, and if anything, maybe it provided some extra insight in case you had an indecision about the hairdryer. Um, at least for me, I know when I have an indecision on something, it helps me see or hear somebody else talk about the product a little bit more. Um, to help solidify my decisions. Um, so that is going to wrap up this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.